one of the senior members of our RC club, uh, our AMA club charter, uh, was retiring from uh, some of his airplanes, and this is one of the ones that he was giving away. You can see this is one of those uh, hobby zone uh, airplanes. Unfortunately, it was pretty banged up when I got it, and so I repaired the tail, and uh, because the repair had some weight, I put some weight on the front, and it flies, and it flies pretty good, but uh, but it's not quite right. So after watching some videos from uh, Tim McKay, and I'll put his site in a link below, but uh, uh, he uses used some Stevens Aero airplanes, and so I thought, you know, it's about the same size, and it's, it's got the same type engine and receiver the receiver and servos is all uh, in the esc it's all built in together so i thought maybe i could do a transplant from this plane into a stevens aeroplane so i ordered one and uh, that's what's in the box so the big thing i'm kind of concerned about is this comes in at just under 60 ounces without the battery even with the modifications so for this to be powered by the same, you know, uh, motor and and uh, propeller and all, I'm curious how much this package is going to weigh once I get it out of the box. So we'll check it out and see. So this is the unboxing of my Stevens Aero. Uh, this particular one is a parasol type plane, so it's just a single wing on a on a pylon. But let's check it out and see what we get. Alrighty, uh, it was cut to order, so, uh, but, uh, so the Stevens Arrow is out of Colorado, but uh, it, was, it was cut to order, but it still only took a few days to get here, and uh, they shipped it, I think, within a week of me ordering it, and then a couple more days to, uh, to get it here, so, first off, let's see what's right here in the middle, well, that's it, that's what it is, right there in the middle, so you can see. This is a Heath parasol. This is the uh, LNB4. And then inside is just uh, you know, packing this and some additional packaging. So it all came in kind of nicely here. So let's see what's in the package. I'm gonna set this down just a second. All right, let's see if we can edit out that black space. So I open the package and inside is a little data sheet. That's the cover sheet for the package. Also inside is the instruction booklet. This is pretty uh, extensive here. Looks like there is a plan sheet as well. So we can see from this that we're not a huge airplane. What do we what do we got here? I don't know that that's a one for one plan. Maybe it is. We'll see, but uh, it's substantially smaller than this, which is all right, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, we'll see if that's one for one once we start building it. But even if it is, let's check it out. The big thing I was concerned about is what is the weight here. So and maybe it's not fair because it's, I don't have any of the electronics in it, but the wood wise and whatnot. If you look at my weight here. We're coming in at 54 grams. So I'm thinking this is gonna be just slightly heavier than what this is here. This is of course all foam and you can see it's all kind of banged up, but um, but we'll see if we can get this, uh, get all that, get the electronics transplanted and put in here and come in probably about hmm, maybe another 10 grams. I'm gonna, I'm just guessing, but we'll figure it out. This is a new, project for summer this was the year i was going to fly more than build and uh, it has rained every weekend since april just crazy up here in new hampshire so so uh, i've been sitting around waiting to fly and cleaning up stuff but uh, now i'm gonna start uh, putting together a new project <laughs> 